Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Banished. We are in Baztopia and this is more than likely the very last episode of Baztopia. Um, I've been uh, doing an awful lot of um, uh, work on this city without any commentary on it. Um, you should have saw a time lapse of that um, right before you got to this section. Um, and I just kind of um, spent several hours going through, fixing things up, um, trying some new stuff out primarily. Um, uh, I want to kind of move on to the new um, release of this uh, Colonial Charter mod, um, but also I um, kind of want to move on to some other games too, maybe. Uh, I'm thinking some RimWorld, I've been playing a little bit of that um, since the new one came out. Um, Alpha 13, if anybody uh, plays that. And um, so yeah, so that's kind of what I've been doing, and i um, been playing around a lot with alcohol for instance, um, and I don't know that I'll do too much building here at the end here. I'm just going to kind of look around. We might um, take care of like this glassworks here. I put in um, a glassworks here and I'm trying to recall exactly why. Um, I don't remember 100%. I do believe I wanted to make um, maybe it was glassware. Um, making glassware at this one. Maybe I was wanting to make glass. That might have been what it was. Sorry, folks. I kind of forgot about what I was doing here. It's been a while since I've played. Um, I started using it. I think what I did is I actually built it so that I could use it for making um, building supplies, but I ended up switching over to bricks and lumber. Um, so I think I'll probably leave that alone. For now, I'm going to switch this up to um, glassware, and I'll just put one person on it. I think that's fine because, like I said, I don't know how much more I'm going to be playing in this town. Um, once I put the new mod in this town goes away I can't keep playing it so that that would be the uh, reason why I'm not spending a ton of time on it um, as you probably noticed and I think I did this in maybe the last episode too but we've installed a lot of mine shafts around the things uh, to mine tin and coal and such um, I don't remember exactly when I put those in um, we also got uh, vegetable tinneries in so we're making um, Tend vegetables and some broccoli here. We actually need to make more broccoli for this to actually be effective. But um, broccoli was going growing really good for me, so that's why I switched it to. We're using some beef and tin on this one, and I believe I installed a couple other tenneries. <laughs> ah, here we go. Um, I put a soup tenery in. I uh, had an overabundance of tomatoes that we're producing, so I thought that'd be a really good use of them, and it is. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, we're producing a ton of soup, and soup, um, effectively, I believe it doubled the, um, if I remember reading correctly, um, it says you get more food quantity out of the same value items you put in, so even though I'm putting in you know, X amount of tomatoes and getting a can of soup, that can of soup is counting as addition as more food than I actually put into the process. Um, I'm not sure how much. I want to say it was double when I was looking it up. I don't recall 100%. Um, one of the things I'm going to do in the next uh, season of Banished when I do another one um, is I'm going to make sure on um, another screen um, or another device I'll have up uh, charts so that I can look at like orchards and things like that and see what they produce uh, uh, how cold, how warm it, they can produce in, and all that kind of thing, um, so that I can kind of give you some on-the-fly uh, uh, details like that, and so that we don't sit here and play the guessing game kind of like I did in this one. It's like, well, does this crop go good in this climate? Does this one grow good in this climate? That kind of deal. Um, I did install a lot more grape orchards, um, the idea being that we're going to make a lot more wine at this one. Um, I've had quite a bit of success with... Um, uh, making the pumpkin ale, um, also um, still, whoops, not that one, where is it, uh, this one, uh, still doing berries with this, but it's only ever used blueberries, but it's never run out, so I, I'm guessing our gatherers are just doing a good enough job that this isn't a problem. Um, we kind of went with a hemp um, plantations over here, and we, I had moved my ropers over here um, for the hemp, and we're that's a really good trade material. I, I think I'll do that again uh, as soon as I get the ability to actually do ropes, um, which I believe I can actually make out of reeds. Yes, we can make them out of reeds. So I, I'm kind of thinking maybe in the new town that I end up doing, we might do a heavy reed um, 
industry early on um, and then you know we can obviously we'll grow into hemp and uh, some of those other things but uh, reeds are something we can use to make coats assuming we can get some chickens or ducks um, hopefully ducks is fixed in the new uh, colonial charter patch um, and hopefully we can get duck feathers processed quickly if we don't get chickens uh, but that gives us easy access to some clothing material uh, gives us easy access to a trade item that's a high value. Um, I do believe ropes trade for 25 each. Take a look. Uh, 35 each. So um, we do really good with ropes. Um, I don't know if early on I would actually suggest um, this is just kind of like a, I guess, like a post mortem or something of this town. I, I don't know early on that I would actually suggest um, building farm supplier and then, uh, where's the other one? The industrial supplier? Supplier? Um, here and then in some other cities I've played just offline, just kind of on my own time. Um, I I don't know if they're worth it. Um, by the time you stock up on stuff, uh, you're probably were just better off using one trader and waiting on the uh, trader to get the right trader to come in. Um, that said, um, I think if I do it again and I I might just because the the buildings look really good. Like I really like the industrial one. It's smaller and it's just you know it just kind of fits really nicely into an industrial type area. So I think with some reeds and stuff and uh, farmers and that kind of thing, some dock works or something, I think it'll look really good. But um, I think what I would do is I'd wait to build them until I actually had some material that could be unique to it. So like maybe I use rope here. Maybe I use survival coats here. And on this one maybe I would use clay pots or something of that nature. Um, and then kind of get away from this um, where they all have a certain kind of code or they all have a certain kind of thing in them. Um, you know like 10 or 15 things in there. Uh, I think probably two things produce really well is all you really need at the trader um, unless you're using it to actually store stuff but because of that little glitch that we found and I when it, I don't think it's a glitch I think it's just the way the game works so I don't think a mod's ever gonna fix it um, things are filled in in some sort of specific order I think we decided it was alphabetic so if I'm out of wool coats and I'm waiting on pottery you can see I have pottery pottery is just not showing up in here because we're still waiting on survival coats um, so there's that so I think I would limit what you put in your traders uh, especially if you're going to have more than one uh, so that's my thought on traders there um, let's see what else have we done um, as you can see I got a ton of um, iron now um, and iron ore I believe also in storage um, I bought a ton of it I just thought it would be good to have um, we also have um, I'm waiting on lamp oil to be produced and that is um, coming from do, 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 do. Sorry guys, like I said, it's been a little while since I've played, so I kind of can't remember where I put some of the stuff. Um, so we're making vegetable oil, um, which we have been for a while. Um, but we're taking the vegetable oil from this oil press, and we're making lamp oil at this one. Um, the lamp oil is going to be used to upgrade these um, rock quarries, which um, completely ran out of rock. Um, so we're upgrading those. Um, I bought more bisons and llamas and chickens, well, leghorns. Um, we got bison right here. So our food's pretty good. I accepted a great deal of nomads. Uh, in the time lapse that's in there, I don't recall how many it was offhand. I want to say it was like over 100 nomads. And so far, it hasn't really been a problem. So that's good news. Let's see. I also have another tenery up here. He's doing watermelon. And... Um, the tenneries, I think, are really kind of the way to go on food, guys. I mean, they're, they're producing really well. Um, and I know I'm not the first one to mention that, but I did want to get that out there. I do have a farmer's college in there. I don't remember when I put that in. Um, as you can see, our inn and gardens got a steady supply of um, alcohol in it. That's good. We do have a distillery. So we're taking potato and glassware and furnace fuel and we're turning it into vodka. Yes, one of my favorites. Um, let's see. And, 
we got our farms up and going really well. Uh, our farms, uh, our farms are going really well too. But our reed um, farmers, rice farmers, all this dock stuff, it's all working really, really well. Um, I'd like to expand on that uh, on dock situations in uh, a future Let's Play. Uh, maybe a specific one that deals specifically with this. Maybe do like a water world situation where we actually have just nothing but docks for the most part. I think that could be kind of cool. Um, let's see. I got this section over here um, put in and finished. I think on a large scale something like this would really look good. Uh, maybe concentric circles. Kind of an Atlantis kind of theme. That might look kind of cool. Um... Actually, I'm gonna switch this down to one times just so we can move around a little easier. Um, but um, I did some marketplaces in the middle here. Um, you know, it's overkill for the size of an area, but I thought it looked pretty good, and I think I would expand on that idea in the future. I, that's pretty cool. I like it. Um, we did get in a big church, uh, another big cemetery. Um, and we've got a governor's office in, and the governor is out collecting silver. Um, I'm not sure, I guess that's how you say that. Um, I don't think he really collects enough of it to do much for us, but um, I do believe we use that coinage with um, certain um, aspects of trading, so I want to say uh, bootleggers maybe. I want to say the bootlegger. Um, we do require the silver to actually get him to come there, and I think we can trade for it way it reads. Uh, but I've never used that, um, so it's, but it's something I may look at in the future. I kind of doubt if I really want anything. Yeah, he's just got seeds. He can go away. Um, let's see. What else have we done? Um, I kind of think here towards the end of the video, what I'll do is just some real close-up shots, uh, shots and give you a good walkthrough. Um, maybe I could actually do that now. We'll just start over here in the old section. So, over here is kind of our original area. You can see I really expanded out our um, rice planters, and that's helped out our food situation quite a bit. Um, I put in some more water scavengers. Not exactly sure if these are worthwhile having a person in there. Once you got a good population up, or when it's real early game, I think it makes sense. Um, but the mid game, you're probably better off putting your people to work elsewhere. They don't really collect enough food, I don't think, from the water scavengers. Um, that said, unless she was doing that whole dock theme, and then, you know, that's going to be a good source of food. Um, we're doing really, really good on this fish dock here. I did get rid of the fish dock over here that we had, the regular one. Um, let's see, we've got the reed farmers in. I don't think I've added any more of them. Um, uh, another water scavenger there. What's going on here? There we go. One of the water scavenger. Okay, I thought that looked weird. Um, I do have this uh, chicken duck breeder up and going. Um, he actually produces probably enough eggs to be worthwhile. Um, uh, yeah, I, I kind of like that little feature. That was pretty good. I like that new thing there. We got our shore house in. He's collecting frogs at the moment. We don't really have a need for anything else. He's not collecting enough frogs to be worthwhile, but. Uh, like I said at this stage of the game, made much of a point in getting rid of it. Um, I really, really ex expanded on our bamboo area over here. Um, we could probably still be producing more bamboo, um, but you know, as you can see, I got a lot of extra houses in, um, and I put in a ton more um, bundling sheds. And in fact, for a long time, I had them set to corn mistakenly, but um, we're using a lot of bundles to make furnace fuel. Um, these. Uh, refineries here and we need a lot of furnace fuel to run all the different uh, aspects of uh, the food industry that we put in and, uh, and alcohol industry I did put in a magazine again um, it looks better kind of out here in the little wooded area and not a lot of stuff on it, it kind of hides it away a little bit so I'm a little more happy with it here um, got a tin mine in and in the tin mine um, that's a bad thing about being zoomed in here all that um, banging around going on. Um, let's see, uh, the tin mine, so we're getting lots of tin. Um, let's see, we're bringing it in, and I did decide to just go ahead and do tin immediately instead of tin ore and refining it elsewhere. I figured 
we might as well just do it here and we're producing furnace fuel in this area so that works out good but I did that with all of the ten mines just produce it immediately um, got a country smitty here um, he's making steel tools and I know there's a lot of argument out there I've mentioned it before but uh, some people say that um, rough tools are the way they go they don't last as long but you can make them quicker and cheaper um, m maybe but I've been running into so many tool crises that I think that having um, the steel ones so that they last longer and I can build up the surplus quicker is probably the way to go. Um, I guess if I bought a bunch of steel ones to start off with and then was able to just kind of keep up with the backlog of um, putting in um, rough tools, that might work out okay. Um, but as I understand it, the tools don't do anything differently from each other, it's just how long do they last. Um, we've got a coal mine in over here. Um, and he's actually producing iron ore at the moment. Um, unfortunately, he can't smelt it directly here, so we have a forge in place to make iron. And he is producing iron pretty good. Um, and we've got... Oops, we are a couple shy here. Um, am I any more shy? Oops, that's not what I wanted. Nope, okay, that got, took care of all. Um, he is producing um, iron ore as well. That's not actually so the way that's supposed to be doing that, though. He, oh, I, I know what happened. Okay, so what happened here, um, just so you know, is um, I ran out of uh, I ran out of um, these mines. I had to upgrade them, and when they came back on, they turned into uh, normal mines. So, and switch this one back to coal. One of them supposed to be coal. One of them supposed to be iron. And then he turns coal, iron, and log into steel tools. So that's what's going on there. Never have figured out what happened here. I never tore it out, but I suspect if I tear it out and rebuild it, it would look differently. Um, we've got a marketplace in here. Got another one down here. Put in a couple of barns and lots of houses. Another barn over here. And I am growing cucumbers over here with the intent that we are going to pickle them. And we have been. So um, pickling does okay. This is relatively new building. Um, so uh, I don't know if this is indicative of what it'll actually output. Um, Tenery is maybe the better way to go. I'm not sure. Um, but I'm going to play with that. And I'll probably test it out a little bit more on another town just to make sure before I start using a lot of pickles in my new town. But I, I think that's going to work out pretty good. This is just kind of a testing thing. I mean, initially I thought, well, we're going to expand way up in here. But since they re-released the mod, I think I'm not going to do that. But these are the officer townhouses and family townhouses. Um, it's these buildings right here. And I don't know. I, I think I think they probably look better just all the same thing instead of um, uh, mixing them up. I kind of thought they would look better together because they're in the same menu. But apparently that's not the case. And there's no matching textures or anything like that. They don't look bad, but I don't know if I'd build them that way again. Individually would probably be the best way to go. Okay, let's see. What else do we got here? Um, I never did get to expand, really, on my apiary business, but that's something I would really, really like to do is um, a lot more apiaries and um, a alcohol um, guy to... Um, make mead I think would be a good way to go and I think it would be a really good early trade item as well um, in fact I would probably do something similar to you know three th you know, three here three here um, three here maybe two here and then brewer here in the middle um, that might be the way to go um, still got my sawmills up and going um, they're making firewood and lumber really don't need either um, well, I need the lumber because I started using it um, to make the building supplies, but firewood's really not needed, but I'm just kind of letting go. In fact, I think what I would do is i am just go ahead and turn that down because I don't think there's any reason to have him. Um, our duck guy over here, I don't know if he ever really started doing a good season. He's only producing like 400 meat a season. Um, I don't know if that's good or bad. That seems okay to me, but um, he's not producing enough feathers definitely and um, I know that there's supposed to be a bug with it so um, hopefully that's fixed in the next one otherwise I don't think they're worth it 
Um, we've got our gatherers huts, we've got some log cabins out here and barns. Nothing's really changed out here to my knowledge. I might have added a hunting cabin, I don't recall. But there's that. Got our herbalist in. Um, we do have um, a hospital here. I turned off the hospital in the middle of town just to see if that would help with the reduced spreading of disease, and it does seem that that has helped. Um, I got tailors, um, they're doing pretty good. Um, got another country smitty here, Some more of this. I'm not going to go over every single thing, I don't think. Um, but uh, if you got any questions about something I skipped, just let me know and I'll do my best to try to remember what it was. Because like I said, once the new mod's installed, I won't be able to look at it anymore. Um, got our little vlog community out here. thought this looked pretty good. He could produce a lot, lot more logs if I hadn't filled in all this, but... In the end, we're doing fine on logs. We're clear cutting enough other stuff that it's not a problem. Um, and I got another one here. Um, I believe I have one set to cut. Yep, yeah, one's cut, one's plant. So this one really shouldn't be getting any logs in reality. Um, I do have a deer butcher out here, so he's um, cutting up the venison that we get. Does a pretty good job. It's just houses and hunting cabins. And, uh, see, this hunting cabin does a thousand. That's uh, like awesome. So, that's good. Um, we got another sawmill here. He's making firewood as well. Again, that's something I really need. We got really enough fire bundles to take care of that problem. Um, but it's nice having the firewood just in case our fire bundles totally run out. Um, if I take a quick look at our inventory, you can see bamboo is no longer stockpiling. We're using it as it gets as it grows, so that's a good thing, but it's also kind of a bad thing because I need to be growing more of it. Excuse me here, take a quick drink of water. Okay, um, let's see here. I want to see how many bundles we have, um, fire bundles. Uh, 2,000 firewood, 136 fire bundles. So, you know, actually, we may actually need these, um, need the actual firewood. I'll, I'll pump this one up another one, have him doing it. Um, but we should be producing a lot more bamboo and producing a lot more fire bundles. Um, right now, the bulk of the fire bundles are going into the fuel refinery is our problem. Um, so anyways, I've filled this, uh, you may have noticed, um, with few exceptions, all the dirt roads are gone and we got rock roads in. Um, so um, we got rock roads, moss covered rock roads, that kind of thing, and just kind of diversified it a little bit based on where they were uh, sitting at. Um, got another large smitty here, got an apothecary here, um, mostly just to test to see how that worked. Um, actually it does pretty good. You uh, get this healing material here, it's pretty good. Um, Let's see. And it does seem to help. I don't know if it actually has a stronger um, herbal effect or not, but it seems to. Uh, it doesn't seem to be a big problem. I'd like to kind of do like healing oil as well, um, but I'm not going to do it in this city. Um, Taylor, we got our um, ropers up and going. They use only reeds. Another fuel refinery, a couple more tailors. Um, see how are these little things doing yeah, they, they don't too too bad for one worker I mean it's wool and eggs and feathers is it worth it I don't know maybe not but um, wool probably is um, we don't have anybody living in the boarding house so the, the good news is is we have enough houses for people to live in however as you can see here we're still about a hundred houses shy um, possibly more possibly a little less um, marketplace, big stockpile that never gets used. Um, at one point it was full of coal. Um, got this marketplace up and going. He's about 50% full. I've tried to put in some additional ones so that we can diversify the product around the screen a lot more. Um, clay pots. Um, I like them. I th it needs to be more efficient in my design in order to make them worthwhile, I think, but I do believe that would make an excellent trading item. Uh, got the dairy. I need to have more cows probably and such to get better dairy products out. Uh, we've got more potters down here. Um, we looked at retineries already. I put in a lot more um, clay diggers here. I should have put some of those as sand. I don't know. We'll see. Um, let's see what do we got here. Tannery. I haven't actually used the tannery because I need water to do it and I'm just not set up 
to do water and I'm not going to spend the time on actually doing the water but I built one see what it looks like see what it required and all that so if you had any questions about what that did that's what it does and you can use the stuff in the tannery to make um, better things out of the letter um, I haven't explored it all but better coats and uh, I think bedding maybe that kind of thing um, we got a salting house we're making brine cheese we were doing haggis um, but we was having a hard time keeping up um, so I thought we'll try the dairy aspect, see how that works out. Um, looks like it's doing pretty good. Um, I got a cooper who does barrels. Um, probably could use another one. Um, that tend to be the things that it was running out there for a long time. Uh, mutton, another large smitty. Got a glassworks here. He's making glassware so we can make our vodka. Um, and ideally he'd be closer to our vodka making area. Brickworks. Um, making bricks um, and right now we're really only making bricks in order to make building supplies originally I was going to use them to make roads but we're not really in a position to make that many of them uh, we're making houseware here um, don't get a ton of output from it but you get enough um, got another forge another blacksmith which I am making just regular iron tools because I'd have to upgrade them to do steel tools. Um, thing, we've got another tailor. I didn't bother upgrading him. There's just not really a need to. Uh, we've got a candler. Um, we got this one set to use well blubber. Um, this one is beeswax, and I believe we have another one somewhere on the screen that's making um, out of tallow, if I remember correctly. Um, we've got a weaver. Not making statues anymore. Um, got lots of farms in. I haven't noticed a reduction really in um, uh, output on the meat and such by putting in some roads here. What I did is just kind of made them jaggedy. Um, supposedly you can do it, you know, so as long as it was within like two or three spaces. But when I was testing that out, I wasn't having a lot of luck. Um, even if I put a if I put a road right next to it, it pretty much never went beyond that to put food out. Maybe it's supposed to, and I just had bad luck. But that was the way it appeared to me. So what I did is kind of like some jagged roads, um, so that they always had a spot to put some stuff out here, and that seems to be working okay. And oh dear lord, that is a lot of nomads coming in. I seriously doubt if we'll be accepting those nomads. There's no point. Um, let's see, what else do we have going? Um, lots. Of, I, I think I've really expanded the pasture since um, the last time I actually talked. Um, we're making coats there. Got some more houses in. Really, that's what I've spent most of my time on the last few hours of gameplay is housing. And we did that out here too. We put in houses out here. Let's see what else we got. Got our wharf and ships up and going. They, they, those are good. I like these. these. These produce quite a bit of food and useful items. Uh, we'll just take a quick glance here. I don't think there's any reason to accept any trades really. I think we have enough stuff. Yeah, we'll just go away. I'm surprised those nomads haven't started talking yet. Maybe they didn't. I missed it. Uh, nope, they're not there yet. Uh oh, oh, auto save. Um, okay, what do we got here? We still got our um, pecans, and we've got um, uh, walnuts, and they do produce really, really well. They might be able to produce better, but they're doing good enough for me. There's our nomads. Okay, this is just curiosity. I want to know how many there are. 151. No thanks. <laughs> okay, um, let's see, we got, uh, put in some bank barns, and we still have our horses, and bison, and let's see, what else has changed, anything? I don't really think anything else has changed, I mean, we got our llamas and such up and going, um, these grape fields have not yet started, um, producing grapes, um, but, these long skinny um, fields seem to get cleared really quickly so I kind of like that so I might do some more of that kind of thing uh, moving forward um, same thing with the olives you can see it's just a long skinny section and that seems to work good I've also put in some figs it's producing pretty good too I don't remember what I put in the figs for if there was a reason or if I just put in figs to put in figs don't recall um, let's 
let's see. And yeah, so anyways. I kind of think that does it. Um, uh, you know, we, we do have a, we have a stone mine over here. Um, I kind of want to say I put in something else along in here too, but I can't find it. Maybe I never did it. Maybe I told it not to. Possibility. Don't recall. <laughs> um, it might have been the glass works that I was thinking of. But, yeah. So, anyways. Um, my throat is really starting to hurt. So, I'm going to kind of stop talking now, I hope. Um, I'm going to do kind of a walk through here. Um, just uh, real close-ups of everything. And if you want to watch, that would be great. If you don't want to watch, that's fine, too. Um, leave me some comments. Uh, let me know what you thought of the series as a whole. Um, click the like button if you liked it. Subscribe. And I'll see you next time for another episode, or rather, another series of Banished. And possibly some other games, so stick around. Thanks. <laughs>